Hi, today's problem is to determine the probability of having first a boy, then a girl, and finally a boy, we would use the, and here is the four different answers that you might choose from. Uh, I may explain you the correct answer and how to calculate it in, in just 20 seconds, it would be a very short video. So I want you to understand every answer, uh, how we apply each of those rules and when and uh, how to calculate so you would be able to understand uh, all these answers deeply and uh, uh, I would start with answer D and uh, segregation rule actually means that uh, two alleles that is present for example in human genome during uh, meiosis would uh, segregate uh, independently or assort independently and they will join uh, with the homologous in the zygote. So this is a totally unrelated co uh, answer to our uh, problem. So we just cross out it and uh, binomial theorem uh, actually here is a formula that we might use G that stand for the girl and B that stand for the boy. Uh, in classical formula this is A plus B but uh, I would use G instead of A. Uh, so raised 3 equals and now we uh, 3 stands for the 3 children and now we expand this uh, formula so we will have G raised 3 plus 3 g squared and uh, b plus 3 g b squared plus b squared uh, b uh, raised 3. So uh, this is uh, how we expand this formula and now I will explain how to use this formula. Why this formula is not applicable to our question? Because our question asks us um, about particular sequence. First child should be a boy, then should be a girl, and then finally a boy. But this formula, um, that is binomial uh, theorem, doesn't provide us uh, uh, it it give us a solution uh, for example if we would be asked uh, what is the probability to have uh, a girl and two boys in no particular sequence or, or two girls and one boy uh, so we can apply this formula but as long as we given a particular sequence we cannot use this formula but I will show you how to solve uh, um, similar problems when we are not given a particular uh, sequence of the uh, gender. For example, um, what is the chances for all three children to be girls? And uh, here is a different ways how we can have uh, four or three different children. So uh, all children can be boys and also can be two boys and one girl also we may have one boy and two girls and we also may have all three children to be girls to calculate probability for all three children to be girls uh, we have to use uh, g raised 3 so this is going to be one half chances for the child to be of the specific gender and this is going to be raised 3 so this is going to be 1 8 so for all three children to be a girl chances is 1 8 and uh, what is the chances for uh, two children to be girls here is a 2 stands for girls and one boy and uh, we have also to use this formula to calculate it. So 3 
and um, one half raised to and multiply it by one half that stands for the chances uh, f to being a boy so uh, one half raised uh, one half squared would be one quarter and we multiply it by three and uh, this is going to be three over four and multiply it by one half going to be 3 over 8. So, uh, what is the chances uh, to be uh, for family uh, for family to have three children and to have one girl and two boys? Same formula. Uh, so, we are going to have 3 here and uh, 1 half stands for the girl chances and multiply it by one half raised two so we have here uh, three multiplied by one half would be three over two and uh, one half multiplied uh, squared would be one quarter and three over 2 multiplied by uh, 1 quarter would be 3 over 8. So uh, this is uh, once again same just like for the uh, two girls and one boy. So the same chances for one girl and two boy. And the last one chances uh, for the uh, family to have all three children to be boys is uh, one half raised three that's going to be one over eight so this formula once again we use when uh, we are not asked of the particular um, sequence of the um, gender of the children and um, so we can cross this binomial theorem we cannot use it to answer our question and some rule uh, we use when for example we have a question uh, what is the probability to have all three children to be boys or all three children to be girls or what is the probability for the uh, all three children to be of the same gender. So we have two probabilities. All of them can be boys or all of them can be girls. So when we uh, asked to calculate probabilities and we can um, rephrase it girls or boys. So this is very important or if we can put or because this is a rule of exclusion. We cannot have simultaneously um, three children, that is, all of them boys and all of them girls, right? So we have to use OR, and that means that we have to use uh, some rule. So we have to add these probabilities, and we have one eight probabilities here, and one eight probabilities here. So here, we, how we calculate it. And we just have to add this one eight plus one eight is going to be two over eight, or we can simplify one over four. So, uh, if the question would be what is the probability to have uh, all three children of the same gender, this would be the answer one fourth. And now I can cross out this uh, answer. We only left with product rule, and product rule um, actually uh, means that the question is: uh, What is the probability that first child would be of the specific gender, and uh, second child? So we can use and. 
So first child and second and third child. So uh, and here is a, what is important for us. And if we can put and, that means we can use rule of uh, product. So we have to multiply all these choices. So we have to multiply uh, chances for the first child to be of the specific gender, and that is a boy. And we have one half chances for the first child to be a boy. We also have one half chances for the second uh, child to be a girl. And this is independent events, no matter what the gender of the first child it doesn't affect the gender of the second child. And uh, the third child also would have one half chances to be a boy. And now in order to calculate, we just have to multiply all these independent events or independent probabilities. And our answer would be one eighth. So this is the chances of this particular sequence. And here is our correct answer. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my videos that I post almost every day. That's all for today. Goodbye.